this is a uh, sample of a website that's an average website. You can see that you can scroll up and down and there's little mistakes on the formatting here and there. These screens are set to 1024 by 768. So I click on index, my past, future and comments. The um, important thing about comments is the student included technical. They described the IDs they used. Uh, three strips, a header, main header footer. footer. Um, color scheme is relatively average, but you notice there's uh, glitches here. They designed the screen to fit to a certain size, and 1024 by 768 doesn't quite work. They describe some aesthetics, but nothing really about why. It's about what it, they have, but not why they display their aesthetics. So they got marked down in this respect. Another group is accessibility. Um, they do cover that, but there's no references to accessibility sites. So they say the bullet points easy to read. Yeah, maybe. Okay, so let's take a look at a good website. A good website meaning pretty close to full marks when at least distinction. So format's different. Do you notice the preview was blue, strange? Uh, it used a list to jump between links. This site uses a nice little highlight. So we've got home, past experience, future direction, and comments. Uh, they've got a nice picture, which the other site didn't have. Um, a few hints I would say, don't put your email privacy reasons, but they validate it as well. A few indications of what's there. This is their past experience. Do you notice, notice the transition? Another neat little feature they put in that makes this just to add the extra bit of spice. Uh, there's their table, um, work experience, and another picture, of course. Um, by the way, I've centered these sites so you don't know who the student is. Feature direction. I got a nicer picture. Cool. And their comments. Now, most important thing about this website is they have a picture. A picture is worth a thousand words. So this, you can see the structure of this website. You have a menu at the top. You have, sorry, header, menu, and then the content itself, and a footer. Check out where the footer is. A footer is down below. So it's very clear from reading their description how the websites are generated. A um, bit too much text. I'd really have less text there, but that's okay. This is web, after all. We don't like words. <laughs> Okay, look at this. They've described the body, they've described the font types. I would have preferred a table, quite frankly, but again, they cover all the contents that's needed for a really good technical mark, uh, comment mark. Okay, and they describe their pages, index, past, HMOD features. <coughs> spelling mistake. Um, don't bust anybody from spelling mistakes, or even, even poor grammar. Do not give bad marks for that. But they did notice that they did use the spacing. It's a really, really good feature, reuse. And a particular ID allows you to jump up to the top of the page. OK. They mentioned their source. They capitalized the tags, which is good. But you don't need to worry about that. Because as a reviewer of this website, you don't look at the source code. Um, aesthetics, apart from the spelling. Um, they said it's designed to be appealing and the consistent color scheme Fonts used. Uh, again, what they didn't really use is um, the why. What was the theme they're trying to make? But they do describe how they get the transitions working. Uh, accessibility, they tested on Zoom, so th they've obviously thought of it. Um, they've used the alt tag, and they mentioned text contrast with the background color, which is quite clear. OK, let's check out another good assignment. Rather more simple assignment, but again, your quality or your presentation mark is not worth as much as the technical and the comments. So here's another good assignment. Again, they use highlights, uh, a nice simple color scheme. It's really easy to read. Their features, again, they even describe, a, describe, describe uh, external video links. It's good. And their comments. Now, not as nice as the previous page, um, but again, it's simple and it's easier to read. Less text, describe the uh, content. Again, they have a picture, 1,000 words. And this is far more useful than anything. A picture is always worth a lot. Main section, the main division, which is the red bit, they described how it did it. You didn't need to show the code, but still, 
it makes it quite clear how it was structured. This is an almost perfect assignment. Um, they describe the footer yellow, is that oh, that's down the bottom. And they described how they created it. And here's a summary of the main uh, CSS configurations. Now, the aesthetics. This person is actually a really, really good. Their philosophy is simple, minimalistic. And they give you examples, like a bad example, Ling's cars. They describe their color palette. So their color theme is very simple and consistent. Their fonts. They describe it sans serif. Uh, interactivity. It keeps the hyperlinks change color when you move the cursor over it, which is really good. So it keeps some interest. And most importantly, this is probably the best assignment I've ever seen describing accessibility. They have a link to the initiatives. They allow you to use screen readers, so they use image, source, alternative tag. Font sizes are not fixed, so this font size will change relative to the screen. So if I go plus minus on my browser, the screen works perfectly. Font spacing, they keep the font spacing the same as well. So when you change the size of the screen, the navigation bar also changes its spacing, doesn't clash. And more importantly, they tested this website on a mobile browser. And this is what it looks like. It fits quite well. And they kept the contrast well. And they did use a third-party testing tool, Colorblind, and a contrast finder, which is way beyond. This is definitely a high-distinction assignment.